A platitude is a trite, meaningless, or prosaic statement often used as a thought-terminating cliché aimed at quelling social, emotional, or cognitive unease. The statement may be true, but its meaning has been lost due to its excessive use. Hello there, and welcome to the Cocoa Butter Junkie Podcast. I'm Michelle, and this is my podcast. This is a podcast on the everyday reflections and experiences of a Kenyan woman. It is my examination of life living through mental health issues, grief, growing up, aka kicking and screaming into adulthood, the experiences of being a woman in Kenya, making friends as an adult, struggles with faith, and a bunch of other topics. Thank you for listening. Hi, I'm back. <laughs> well, not really. Um, so I'm still working on season two and I'm so excited about how things are coming along. Um, but welcome to this bonus episode. Today we'll talk about something that we've probably heard or said a million times. At the top of the episode, I read out the meaning of the word platitude. So these are things that we say that are supposed to have some meaning, but don't anymore because we've said them too many times that they've lost their meaning. So these are phrases like, we are not laughing at you, we are laughing with you, not everything is what it seems, time heals all wounds, be strong, you guys know I hate that one. <laughs> Um, everything happens for a reason, be positive and it will happen, let's catch up sometime, you know, etc, etc, etc. So today we will tackle, I'm here for you. So when someone says, I'm here for you, if you ever need anything, just hit me up. What does that phrase mean to you? Have you ever taken up that offer? How did it go? Was the person really there for you? How did you start? Were you like, uh, do you remember that time when you said X, Y, Z, blah, blah, blah? <laughs> Are you noticing that you have a problem asking for or accepting help? And on the other side, have you ever offered? Have you said it to family, friends, or even to random strangers? And when the person really needed you, were you really there? Whether they asked or not, or were you waiting for them to ask? And later, did you tell them that, but I said I was here for you? <laughs> and when they do ask for the help, do you feel unqualified? Do you feel inadequate? Have you ever reneged on your offer for some reason? Like maybe you are busy or maybe you are not in the right frame of mind or it was generally not a good time for you. Are you like, let me call you and then never called back and then later pretended that everything was okay. <laughs> and at the time when you said it, did you mean I can listen? Did you mean I can offer you solutions? Did you mean I don't know what else to say? Did you mean I won't judge? Did you mean I won't let you give up? Or maybe you meant let's throw some money on it and see if it disappears. Did you mean I will hold you or it's okay to cry if you feel like crying? Or did you mean I'm sorry this is happening? I know I have said it probably more times than I should. I've said it probably to people who I knew wouldn't take up the offer. 
I know I've said it to people who didn't deserve it. And I know I have felt all these things that I have listed, like feeling inadequate or maybe just offering a shoulder to cry on. Or even I was just saying sorry and those are the words that I used. So when someone has offered to be there for me, usually they are not the first thing on my mind when I need someone or I just need to talk. Um, I'm currently trying to process why this is. Um, Like why is it so hard to ask for help sometimes? I have never gone to someone and just said, do you remember you offered? To me, it feels like a denny, you know, like demanding a debt uh, from someone. And then, and the times that I have taken up the offer, usually I feel like I have to say the right thing or maybe try and filter out some things. And I'm always wondering if this person is judging me. So lately, I've just been curious, like, what would happen if I took up everyone who has said this phrase to me? I'm here for you. (laughs) I think I'm going to do it. Uh, So if you've ever offered or said I'm here for you, uh, just know that I will be hitting you up soon. (laughs) Um, And I know that I have said it on this podcast and just know that I meant it. So if you ever feel like talking, be curious with me. Take me up on the offer. I am really here. Go to anchor.fm forward slash message forward slash cocoa butter junkie and leave me a message. And also go ahead and take up anyone who has ever offered to be there for you. You just might be surprised. So this week, I'm listening to Where Do We Begin with Esther Perel. Uh, This is a podcast that follows a single uh, couples therapy session with Esther Perel. Um, I think she has a really awesome insight um, into couples, into relationships, and she is um, able to articulate what people are feeling and then communicate that to their partners uh, so you should check out her podcast if you have never listened go to where do we begin with Esther Perel um, she also has another podcast called housework so guys that's it for the bonus episode go ahead and Pick up anybody who has ever offered um, to be there for you and see where it leads. So just do it for curiosity's sake and see where it will lead. Um, Let me know if um, you get a surprising um, response. Uh, Hit me up on my socials. I am on IG a lot. So you can search for me on at Coco Butter Junkie on Instagram. I'm also on Facebook. Just search for Coco Butter Junkie and like the page so remember to please share rate and review the podcast as i said i am working on season two and things are coming along really well thank you for listening that's the bonus episode and i'll see you on the next one bye